You are probably paying way too much money to ship your inventory to Amazon. In today's video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to reach that 30 cents to 50 cents range per pound for inbound shipping when shipping your inventory to Amazon because you've heard content creators say that this is what you should pay, this is what you should aim for, but you've never been able to reach those numbers. I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. I'm going to give you some tips as well that nobody talks about as usual because you know I always over deliver for you guys. I give you more than those guys having paid course and I don't even have a paid course. So yeah, uh, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do this, how to save on shipping and how to add that money to your bottom line instead of, sending, of giving that money to UPS or to Amazon. All right, so this is what we are going to talk about today. But before we actually start, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to scale or if you just want to start and you need a plan, you need someone to hold your hand to actually bring you to your goals, to, to help you reach your goals. I can help you do this, link in the description. I don't know how long I'm going to do this because at least at this price, because at this price it's not even worth my time to be honest, but do it it's available right now, do it. I'm going to increase the price soon, so if you want to book a call right now, do it. And if you ever book a call at this price, you will be able to book the call if you need another call in the future at the same price. I'm not going to increase the price for you. Uh, also, we have a Discord server, link in the description. If you want to network, if you want to meet people, you know, sitting on Amazon as well, meet new friends and stuff, build a network, build a circle, because this is one of the things that is going to get you ahead. And I, I will never say it enough. You need to network, best place to do it. Link in the description, come on our Discord server. And if you ask any questions, you will always have an answer. We are never ignoring people as you can see on other servers. This is not happening on our servers, all right? So, how to actually pay 30 cents to 50 cents per pound when actually shipping your inventory to Amazon. The first thing that you need to understand is that you will need to send a few products, all right? You, you cannot just send one, two products. Let's say you want to, you want to, to actually um, sell this and you just want to send one unit just to test it. You are never going to pay like 30 cents per pound, 50 cents per pound. You are, you are going to need to send some volume in, all right? You are going to need to send a box full, of, probably a, a couple of bucks full of inventory to actually get to those numbers. All right, you need to do some volume to get to those numbers. If you just send one, two products, three products, four products, it's never going to happen. Never. It's never, never going to happen. So that's the first thing. Just know that you are going to need to send a few items. You know, really at least a box, a full box to actually have like some uh, something interesting, an interesting price. If you just send a few units in poly bags, um, I'm sorry, but it's not going to work for you. Like, you're going to pay a lot in shipping. You cannot just test with one product and expect to pay uh, th th this kind of money. No, it's going to be expensive to ship if you do not have a lot of stuff to ship. Next thing that you need to know, it's not all about the weight. The way they calculate the shipping cost for, for parcels is something that is called volumetric weight. So it, it does not only take into account the weight of the product, like the real weight or heavy it is, but like also the volume of your boxes. There's a formula. Um, look for the formula on, on, on Google. Just type volumetric weight formula. They take the, they take the volume of the box and uh, the, the, weight of, the weight of the box and they actually... Um, you know, they may, it's not just the weight, like the volume is gonna, is gonna, is gonna be important. So there's two big implications that you can derive from that. First off, if your product is light, but it's big, you're gonna pay way more than 30 cents per unit because like the volume, the volume will be bigger. So if your product is really light, but it's big, uh, it's, you will need to budget a little bit more money to actually ship it. Next thing, if your product is of a size, so um, if, if you need a box bigger than 25 inches per size to actually uh, ship your product, you're going to pay a surcharge, all right? Um, and same thing, if it's a really heavy product, you're going to pay a surcharge. So do not expect to pay uh, 30, 30 cents to 50 cents for of a size or of a weight product, right? It's going to be a little bit more expensive. But the last thing and the thing that is really important is that if you have a box, and the box is not 100% full, you are still gonna pay for that volume that is not occupied in your box. So in, right now, I'm going to show you an easy way to actually save on that. So I brought a box for you guys, and um, I have my cutter, I have my knife right there, and I actually learned 
practice when I was working. Um, I, a student job, it's one of the only jobs that I did. It wasn't in a store right there in Belgium. And this knife actually come from um, this job. So um, yeah, a little throwback. I actually learned this strategy. So let me show you guys. Let me back up a little bit. And so, yes, this box is a little bit small, but you know, uh, I'm going to be able to show you. So let's say your box is only full up to here. All right, up to up to here. All right, let's cut it here. Right. So one thing that you can do is take your knife and cut, make your box actually smaller. So you're gonna take your size right here, and you're gonna cut like this. And I don't know if you guys can see it. You're gonna cut this like this up until where like your box is full. All right. And so you're gonna make an, a, a new side. You're gonna make your box smaller. You're gonna do the same thing on every side. Let me just do it for you, right, like this, and I'm just doing it like, like this, but, and you're just going to fold it like this, so you see that the box is already smaller, all right? You're going to do this on all the, on, like, on all four sides, you're going to make your box smaller, you're going to cut the excess, so um, I'm not going to do all sides, because you, you understand, you're not stupid, but you're just going to make, so... We saved, we saved all this because if your box is full up to here, there's no reason for you to ship the whole box with like nothing inside, right? I mean, nothing. Like with all that volume that is free because you're going to pay more. So what you want to do is this, you're going to, and if you need help, like um, cutting it, just cut it a little bit right now. I, I mean, folding it. Cut it a tiny bit like this. And so it's going to make it way easier for you to actually, um, you know, break it and actually fold it and for it to stay in place. Just a tiny bit, as you can see, like the, uh, just cut the, um, cut the external layer, just like the first layer is going to help you to, to, to actually fold your box. So do this everywhere. Then for whatever it's like, for if you really want to really optimize it, um, you can cut the excess, you save on weight a little bit, it's going to be a tiny bit, but like, you can like, you can save a lot of money by doing this and you will be way, it's going to be way easier for you to actually, you know, reach those numbers, just tape it up after that. Uh, I made some crazy size, some, cra some crazy um, freeform boxes doing this, like when I, I needed to, to save on shipping. Uh, that's a great way to actually save a lot of money, especially when you have a lot of boxes and um, weird shape inventory. Like I used to sell those former, um, those Fortnite llama loot, like those llamas, and it was like a real size stuff like that. So I had to make. You can make like you can make any size box. You can even take another box and tape it on it. Like if you need, a, you can do a lot of stuff like this. But cut up your boxes this way, fold it. Tape it, you're gonna save a lot of money on shipping if you prep your inventory yourself. Now, if, you're, if your prep center is doing it, there's nothing you can do if they, if they suck at actually, actually like uh, making decent sized boxes. But um, yeah, you need to do this to save money uh, and reach those numbers, all right? And the, uh, it may look like a little money here and there, but like when you ship tens of boxes every week, uh, you say it ends up being a lot of money. So uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. If you want to keep learning about selling on Amazon, watch these videos on the screen, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. I hope you'll save a lot of money. You're going to add that money to your bottom line so you can buy your Lamborghini eventually because I know that a lot of you guys this is what you want. So if you want that, not, not, that nice car, do this. Uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. If you have video suggestions, leave them in the comments, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.